is Shauna. Thank you so much for coming to join me in another video. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, uh, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm a, an adult dog collector and I enjoy making videos. I collect Barbie, Cabbage Patch Kids, American Girl, and our generation to name a few of the collections. Today I'm going to look at all of this stuff that I've been finding around town um, this summer and some of them I'm still seeing in the stores. Um, it's like a Barbie haul that isn't necessarily Barbie dolls, but I didn't want there not to be a Barbie doll, so I did include them, and I forgot I did want to have one American Girl doll. She is a Barbie fan. This is Whitney. I think she is American Girl number 122. If I'm wrong, I will fill you in, and I made her this shirt this summer that says Barbie. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you all these different things and let you know where I found them. Just got to stand up. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I've picked up recently, um, starting at the back. So these, you know, I'm, I'm always buying Barbies. These Barbies, I found the Rainbow Barbies at the beginning of summer, and then I found them not too long ago. I've been seeing them at Ross for $15, and I saw them, I think I saw them at Burlington Coat Factory even. Uh, I even saw them there, and you get six dolls, and I only paid $15. So what a deal. And this is, I did pick up a second set when I kept finding them because I'm gonna take one set out of the box. So always, always I say check Ross because I can go in one day and they don't have something and the next day I go back and there is something. At $5 and below, I've seen it just this week and I got this a couple of weeks ago, they have these Barbie um, puzzles and they're only $5 each. I think there are four different ones and uh, I picked up two. There are a thousand pieces. And if you don't enjoy puzzles though, obviously don't get them. I enjoy puzzles, I love to do them. And I don't think these ones will be too difficult because there's so much uh, picture and they're not all the same color. I don't like ones, I tried a black and white Twilight Zone one. I mean not Twilight the movie with Edward and Bella and it was impossible. But these, I think I'm gonna have to be successful. So these are $5 at five below. And at five below, I also found this cute little mini case for Barbie, and it will fit her. And there's a tiny little mini that she comes with, and then there is a surprise mini. Isn't that adorable? So I haven't opened that. I'm waiting to see who is in the mini Barbie case. And I found this, uh, they're from the world's smallest. I found this one at Forever 21, and I saw it at, I think, Lunchbox or Box, Box Lunch at the Mall. And I think I paid $8 at Box Lunch at the Mall. It was like 10 or 11 And, of course, they do sell this on Amazon. It's one of the Barbie Dream Houses, the Malibu one. So, so cute. And this will be going in my Barbie Dream House. I picked up, it is not necessarily Barbie, but look at the color. I wanted a pink, hot pink purse to take to the movies with me. I found this cute one for $15 at Burlington Coat Factory, and I love it. It goes with everything. It is so cute, and I picked that one up um, about a couple weeks ago. My daughter found this at Ross. I have never found it. It is Barbie Body Spray, and it was only $3.99. It's pink, and it says Barbie, and it going along with that, I've been seeing a number of things in the Ross like cosmetic area. I found these Barbie makeup removers for just $3.99. I picked this up just last night. And of course, I had to get the Barbie magazines. There are more, but unfortunately I didn't find, I did find the Time one, but I didn't want it because it didn't have a pretty cover. I found these at like Walmart and I'm still seeing them at Walmart and um, Barnes and Nobles. That's where I found these Barbie magazines that are so much fun to read. I'm gonna pick this up. And over at Ross, I also found this cute little uh, purse size little hand cream set. And this was $5.99. And I thought I could put one in my purse until you know one runs out. But how cute is that? At Target, and I've seen it on Walmart online, they do have the special Opie. I think that's how you pronounce it, nail polish. And I never have bought this expensive of a nail polish. I'm so glad that I did. This one is called Best Day Ever. I think this one is Hi Barbie. And maybe my 
thankful to husband that's been filming for us. Mr. Soferdals can tell me. I can't remember the name of this one. Do you remember? Something magic. I, I uh -huh. feel magic. or I cannot remember, and I can't read it because it's too small right. for me. He's going to take a quick look. Yeah, feel the magic. This is feel the magic. And they did have more colors. And I also bought the undercoat, of the, you know, the bottom coat and the top coat to go with these. But these are adorable. And they actually work so much better than the nail polish I was using. I found these at, uh, what is the Halloween so store? Spirit Halloween. And I'm going to use them for everyday wear. I got these cute Barbie earrings for, these are $9.99. Really cute. And this earring set, and there's also like a little necklace. And I'm wearing one of the earrings right here. It's so cute. Three sets of earrings, a necklace, $12.99. So I just picked that up last weekend. And another one of the Barbies. This one is one of the career Barbies, and she does make an appointment, an appointment, an appearance in the movie at the beginning when little girls can be anything. She is the paramedic Barbie for $4.99. I already have the hairdresser. I'm hoping to get the other Barbies. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up one that I saw at Burlington. I'm disappointed in myself on that. So, at other things at Five Below, look at how cute these are. They come with little chapsticks, and I think they would be perfect size little lunch boxes for my American Girl dolls. Five dollars for each one. I haven't tested out the lip glosses, but probably I'll be able to use them. Just, you know, throw one in my purse. So cute. And this I did find, I haven't seen it since, but these were in the beginning of summer. I found one in California, one at, um, in Wisconsin. So I did find these before the Barbie movie, but keep your eyes out. You never know what shows up again at Ross. I love the hairbrush. I think it is beautiful and it was just $4.99. I still need to take out the packaging, but I'm probably just going to leave it like on a little mirror that I have. I think it's really pretty. And so... This I did not find recently, but I just wanted to tell you, keep a lookout for stuff you find that's hot pink. I believe I bought this at Walmart, and they probably still have this color. It is a hand mirror. I'm not going to turn it around because uh, my husband is filming, and he doesn't want to be in the video. And if you didn't know, my husband is named Alfred, and his Instagram account, he has many, but one of his Instagram accounts is Mr. Sofer Dolls. And on Mr. Sofer Dolls, I will leave a, a link in my description. He does take like back, he takes pictures of me taking pictures, like kind of like behind the scenes of stuff that he sees that is doll related and it makes going to all these doll things a little bit more fun for him. And I want to thank you very much, Alfred, for filming today. So this is something, you know, just keep your eye out for. It, uh, the Dollar Tree, I found these cute little tie-dye fashions and this was probably like a month ago, but you know, at the Dollar Tree, same things, things pop up. And it looks like, or they were $1.25, that you put a little marker on the shirt and then you have your own little tie-dyed outfits for your Barbie doll. I found these cute little sunglasses at Five Below and I thought for five bucks, they were pretty easy. You know, I mean, I can always, I'm always misplacing glasses. I don't know about you, but I always misplace glasses. That's why I don't buy expensive ones. I thought they were pretty cute and I love the pink. Are they UV? And they do have, yes, the UV, whatever that stuff is. I did look it up before I bought them because I won't buy stuff without it. I'm getting to the end of everything. This is a cool keyboard. I still need it to be hooked up to my computer. But I think it was, let me see, I think it was 20 bucks. Yeah, it was 20 bucks at Walmart. And they had headphones also, but I just wanted the keyboard because it is Barbie. And you know, I love Barbie. I think it's really cute. And the very last thing I found is Barbie Colored, and this is a photo album. You know I've been watching the movie quite a bit. Today we're going to go see it with my dad and my daughter, and I think it'll be my eight, 18th time seeing the movie. And I decided to start putting all of our pictures in these little albums I found at Amazon for $1.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. And inside I have like different times we've been to the movie. And this album cost me like $1.99, I said from Amazon, I bought about eight of them. Um, and then I put them up on my mantle next to my movie theater Barbies. So what is your favorite? Have you been finding anything that I need to look out for? Um, I didn't mention, I also have been buying shirts like this. If you'd like to see my shirt and sweatshirt collection and shorts collection, let me know. 
I think I've picked up about 30 shirts now. They range from $8 to $10, and I pick them up at, but found them at Walmart. Um, oh my gosh, I do have a couple of jerseys I found for 15 Walmart, Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and my favorite, Ross. And I found shorts, I found sweats, and I have about 20 sweatshirts now. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which one is your favorite. If you haven't subscribed, please take the time to su subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love interacting with other people that enjoy the same things as I do. I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, keep enjoying your dolls. Bye-bye.